This is Ryan with Parts Doctor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to disassemble your Whirlpool refrigerator. This video highlights some of the most common components that will give you access to the majority of parts that you may need to replace. Please reference the timestamps listed in the description below to jump to a certain section of the refrigerator. This video is primarily focused on disassembly. You can check out our other videos that show how and why to replace certain parts. The first component that we'll be removing is the ice maker in the refrigerator section. For this repair, unplug or disconnect the power and water supply to the refrigerator. The ice maker is located here. To get access, we'll need to remove the top panel, ice box fascia, and ice box assembly. First, we need to remove the four shelves. To remove, lift up on the front of the shelf, then up on the back and out to remove. Repeat the same on the remaining shelves. Now, open the water filter compartment and remove these two screws with a quarter inch nut driver. Then, firmly grab the top panel within the water filter opening and pull down. This will require some force, but be careful as it's still connected by a wire. Next, disconnect the electrical connector by depressing the locking tab. Next, remove the black waterline retaining clip by placing your fingers on the back side and pulling out and down to release the locking tabs. This may be tricky. Then, disconnect the yellow water line by pushing the retaining collar in while pulling the line out. This may be difficult. When removed, water may drip from the valve. Next, disconnect these three electrical connectors by depressing the locking tabs. There are three locking tabs holding the fascia in place. Using a flat blade screwdriver, depress the locking tabs. Then, carefully separate the fascia from the fridge as it is still connected by a wire. Now, gently depress the locking tab on the connector and remove the fascia. Next, using a quarter inch nut driver, remove these two screws. Then, Pull the ice box assembly towards the front of the fridge to release the locking tabs. Now, peel back the tape and remove the green, white, and black wires from the retainers. Next, using a flat blade screwdriver, remove these five screws. Now, pull and tilt up on the back edge of the cover and slide it out of the retaining tabs across the front. Then, push and feed the green, white, and black wire retainer and wire through the cover. Next, peel back this piece of tape 
and disconnect these two electrical connectors. Now lift the ice maker out of the ice box. Next, we'll be removing the ice maker located in the freezer. For this repair, unplug or disconnect the power supply to the refrigerator. To remove the freezer door, open the freezer and locate these two bolts on the back side of the door near the upper corners. Slightly loosen them with a quarter inch nut driver, wrench, or socket. Once loose, you can lift the door off the hanging struts. To remove the drawer stop, insert a small flat blade screwdriver into the slot and gently start to pry on the locking tab. Then grab and pull to remove. You may find this tricky. Repeat the same on the other side. Now, remove the top drawer by sliding it out and lifting up. Now, to remove the bottom drawer, tilt up on the front, push to the back to release the locking tabs, and lift out. This may be a little tricky. Next, locate the three electrical connectors on the ice maker and disconnect them by depressing the locking tabs. Then, using a quarter inch nut driver, remove these two screws. Now, pivot the front of the ice maker out and pull towards you to release the two retaining tabs. Now, using a quarter inch nut driver, remove these two screws on the bottom of the ice maker followed by the mounting bracket. Next, we'll be removing the start relay. For this repair, unplug or disconnect the power supply to the refrigerator. With access to the back of the fridge, use a quarter inch nut driver or flat blade screwdriver to remove the nine screws on the back cover. Now, slide the power cord out of the retainer slot. Then, pull the back cover away from the fridge be careful as the water line is routed through a slot in the bottom right corner. The start relay is located here on the side of the compressor. To give better access, bend the metal wheel cover down. Then, to remove the wire retaining clip holding the capacitor and start device to the compressor, push the top in, remove the top from the retaining slot, and press down to release the bottom. To remove the start relay, firmly grab it and pull it away from the compressor. This may be difficult. Then disconnect the electrical connector by depressing the locking tab. Now remove the capacitor from the start relay. Next we will be removing the condenser fan motor. For this repair, unplug or disconnect the power supply to the refrigerator. With access to the back of the fridge, use a quarter inch nut driver or flat blade screwdriver to remove the nine screws on the back cover. Now, slide the power cord out of the retainer slot. Then, pull the back cover away from the fridge. Be careful as the water line is routed through a slot in the bottom right corner. The condenser fan is located here. 
Now, using a quarter inch nut driver, remove this screw. Then, pull the bottom of the shroud towards the rear of the fridge to release it from these retaining tabs. Next, tilt the top to the left and out to remove. Be careful as it's still connected by a wire. Now, carefully and firmly grasp the fan blade and pull it off the motor shaft. This may be difficult. Then, disconnect the electrical connector by depressing the locking tab. Next, remove these two screws with a 5 16 inch nut driver and separate the motor from the shroud. Next, we will be removing the evaporator fan motor. For this repair, unplug or disconnect the power supply to the refrigerator. To remove the freezer door, open the freezer and locate these two bolts on the back side of the door near the upper corners. Slightly loosen them with a quarter inch nut driver, wrench, or socket. Once loose, you can lift the door off the hanging struts. To remove the drawer stop, insert a small flat blade screwdriver into the slot and gently start to pry on the locking tab. Then grab and pull to remove. You may find this tricky. Repeat the same on the other side. Now, remove the top drawer by sliding it out and lifting up. Now, to remove the bottom drawer, tilt up on the front, push to the back to release the locking tabs, and lift out. This may be a little tricky. Next, locate the three electrical connectors on the ice maker and disconnect them by depressing the locking tabs. Then, using a quarter inch nut driver, remove these two screws. Now, pivot the front of the ice maker out and pull towards you to release the two retaining tabs. Now, locate the air grill and thermistor cover. To remove the air grill, insert a flat blade screwdriver in these three locations to gently pry on the locking tabs. To remove the thermistor cover, gently pry the locking tab to release, rotate, being careful as it's still connected by a wire. Now, gently slide the thermistor out of the cover. Next, remove these four screws on the evaporator cover using a quarter inch nut driver. Be careful as you'll be working around sharp edges. Then remove the cover by gently bending and pulling it out of the freezer. Be careful of the thermistor wire. Now disconnect these four electrical connectors by depressing the locking tabs.
Then, using a needle nose pliers, remove these two ground wires. Next, remove the defrost thermostat off the coil by separating the locking tab. Now, using a quarter inch nut driver, remove these two screws. Be careful to not drop the screws. Then, remove the fan assembly from the freezer. Now, carefully and firmly grasp the fan blade and pull it off the motor shaft. This may require some force. Next, locate the two wire retaining clips and depress the tabs using a needle nose pliers. Then, remove the wires from the retainer. Now, remove the foam and the wire from the retaining slot. Next, on the motor bracket, locate the two retaining tabs. Use a flat blade screwdriver to depress the tabs to remove the bracket. Then, remove the motor from the housing. Now, remove the grommet from the motor shaft. Next, we will be removing the damper assembly. For this repair, unplug or disconnect the power supply to the refrigerator. First, we need to remove the four shelves. To remove, lift up on the front of the shelf, then up on the back and out to remove. Repeat the same on the remaining shelves. Now, remove the crisper drawers by pulling them out until they stop, tilt up and out to remove. Next, carefully remove the two glass shelves on the platter pocket and the crisper cover. Now, remove the platter shelf and crisper cover by lifting up and out. Then, remove the two side plates by first lifting up on the front to release the retaining tab, then slide out to remove. Next, remove the pantry drawer by pulling it out until it stops, tilt up and out to remove. Now, remove the pantry drawer glass. Next, remove the pantry support by lifting up on the middle, tilting the back up, pushing towards the rear to clear the temp control, and out to remove. Now, Open the water filter compartment and remove these two screws with a quarter inch nut driver. Then firmly grab the top panel within the water filter opening and pull down. This will require some force, be careful as it's still connected by a wire. Next, disconnect the electrical connector by depressing the locking tab. Then, locate these six locking tabs on the air tower. Place one hand behind the tower and use a flat blade screwdriver to release the locking tabs while pulling the panel towards you.
Next, remove the thermistor cover by firmly pinching the top and bottom while pulling away from the assembly. Then, carefully remove the thermistor from the cover. Now, remove these two screws on the damper cover using a quarter inch nut driver. Then, while removing the cover, feed the thermistor through the opening. Next, remove the foam assembly by tilting the top out first. Now, disconnect the electrical connector on the damper assembly by depressing the locking tab. Then, depress the two locking tabs on the sides, rotate the front up, and pull out to remove. Next, we will be removing the triple water valve. For this repair, unplug or disconnect the power and water supply to the refrigerator. The triple water valve is located here under the top panel. First, we need to remove the four shelves. To remove, lift up on the front of the shelf, then up on the back and out to remove. Repeat the same on the remaining shelves. Now, open the water filter compartment and remove these two screws with a quarter inch nut driver. Then, firmly grab the top panel within the water filter opening and pull down. This will require some force, but be careful as it's still connected by a wire. Next, disconnect the electrical connector by depressing the locking tab. Next, remove the black waterline retaining clip by placing your fingers on the back side and pulling out and down to release the locking tabs. This may be tricky. Then, disconnect the three water lines by pushing the retaining collar in while pulling the line out. You may need to use a flat blade screwdriver or needle nose pliers to help holding the collar. Also, this may require some force. When removed, water may drip from the valve, so keep some towels handy. Next, separate the retaining tab holding the water valve to the fridge and slightly pull the valve down. Then, remove the red water line retaining clip, followed by the water line. Again, press the collar in while pulling the line out. Next, disconnect the three electrical connectors and remove the ground wire by pulling them off the valve. Next, we will be removing the dispenser actuator. For this repair, unplug or disconnect power to the refrigerator. On the bottom of the display are two locking tabs holding it in place. Insert a flat blade screwdriver into the slots and gently push up and pry it towards you to release. Now, slide the display down, being careful as it's still connected by wires. Next, disconnect these three electrical connectors. The larger two can be removed by depressing the locking tab, while the smaller connector needs to first have the locking key removed. Now, remove the wires and water line from the retainers. 
Next, remove these three screws with a quarter inch nut driver. Now, disconnect the electrical connector on the right side by depressing the locking tab. Then, pinch these two retaining tabs towards each other to release the ice chute door from the fridge and slide it towards you. Next, remove the drip tray by lifting up on the front and pulling it out. Now, remove these four screws with a quarter inch nut driver. Then, gently pull the dispenser shield away from the refrigerator. On the back side of the actuator are two small tabs locking it in place. Place the shield on a flat surface and press the tabs down and towards the top of the shield to release the actuator. Then, peel back the tape to free the wires and actuator. That's it for this video. If you learned something new, hit that like button. And if you enjoy fixing things and want to see more videos like this and these, please consider subscribing.